Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an AI which patrols certain locations which you want. So for me, it's going to go from this corner to this corner to this corner to this corner, and it will loop this forever. So I'll show you what this looks like now. If I hit play, so it goes from there all the way over here, and it's just going to be going between these four corners, and you can choose whichever point you want it patrol to patrol from. Like I say, it's fully customizable, and it will just continually do this. In the next episode, I'll show you how to implement the chasing that I've already made with this as well. So I will show you that in the next episode, but as you can see, the patrol just goes between these locations. So I'll show you how to do that now. So this is very simple, and the first step is to open up our AI character blueprint here. So I've got that, we'll find some space, and we'll just get an event, begin, play. And if you've already used this, you can hold S, left click, get your sequence, and use that there, and plug in your other code into then zero, and then come out of then one. But I don't need that as I haven't used it yet. Then out of event begin play, what we're going to do is get an AI move to, like so, just get AI move to. The pawn there is going to be get a reference to self, like so. So it's going to be moving this AI here. And the destination, what we want to do is set up the destinations we want. So what I'm going to do is create a new variable, call it location one, and this will be a boolean by default for you probably. So you select boolean and you're going to change this to a vector. So this is then a location variable. And to change this, we're just going to hit compile. And now we can add in the location in here. And to do this easily, what I'm going to do is minimize that so I can still see it there. And then I'm going to find the AI that I want. So I select it there. And then I will put it in the first location I want it to be in. So I want it to go from all the corners. So I'll put it there to start with. Then over on the right details, you've got location. If I just right click that, hit copy, then go back into this AI here, into the blueprint here. Go to the default value of this location one and I hit paste that now has that location in there and we're going to do this exact same process for all the other ones so I get another variable call this location two compile do this again so move it where I want it to be in location two I'm going to say there location copy location two paste compile new variable location three like I say it's very simple very easy you just do this for all the different places you want them to go to so this is where the AI will go, and then it will go to the next one along. So you choose the locations you want it to be in, like so. Do that again, make sure you compile so you can change the value. Put it in there. And finally, last but not least for me, this is location four. So I will do this once again. So do this for all of the locations you want them to go to. Very quick and easy to do, as you can see, like so. And so once you've done that, all we're gonna do is compile, and then this first AI move to, we want this to be location one, like so. So now, when we begin the game, it's gonna to move to this first location. And then to go to the next one, we're gonna get an on success. So when it's finished here, and it's got to location one, we're gonna get another AI move to. The pawn is again a reference to self. This destination is now gonna be location two. And you can put a delay here as well if you want, so that it doesn't just go straight away. It stays there for a couple seconds, but I'm not gonna do that for this, as I just want this to be quick. But all you do is hold down D, left click, put a delay in between these two here, like so, and you can set this to how many seconds you want like that. But like I say, I'm not gonna do that, so I'll just do this for the moment. And then we can just duplicate this again, so get another AI move to, out of on success. Pawn, once again, is the reference to self. This time, destination is location three. Very simple, very easy, very repetitive, you know what you're gonna do. Once again, duplicate that, on success, AI move to. Destination is location four. The pawn is the reference to self, like so. But now how do we loop this? Because this is now done, but all this is gonna do is go to these four locations and then stop. So what we do is we get this on success again, and drag that out into the first AI move to here, and now that will loop. So to make this easier for you to see, if you just double click on the node, on the execution line going there, you can add a reroute node, meaning this looks a lot smoother and you can just see everything much better and easier, like so. So now what this is gonna do is when we begin the game, it's gonna to go to location one. Once it's got there, location two. Once it's got there, location three. Once it's got there, location four. And then we'll go all the way back to location one and start this loop again. So again, this is it, very simple. If we compile, save, minimize this, and we can hit play to test it, we can see that it is going between all these locations there. So I left it in that corner, which is why it's now gone to location one. It's now going to location two. We can follow it all the way around as it is going to location three. And now it's going to this corner, which is location four for me. And once it gets here, 
it's going to go back to location 1 and start this loop again. Like so, so that works perfectly. And again, in the next episode, I'll show you how to implement this into the chase mechanic as well. So it will be patrolling, and then when it sees you, it will start chasing you as well. Again, that's the next episode. And also, if you want him to move a bit slower around this, you can do that very easily. If you just select the character movement in its blueprint, and you get to the max walk speed, you can just change this. So this is 600 by default. If I change it to 300, it will be going at half the speed. So this will just patrol a little bit slower. It should walk around like that. So that works perfectly. It's now just patrolling it a little bit slower. So I think that'll be it for this video. So we've done everything we want to do. We've created our AI patrolling mechanic. So we can also change the walk speed. But what it's going to do is go to all these different locations on our patrol and loop it. So it will constantly do this as you can see here. It's going from location one, two, three, four, back to one, and it loops this. And you can do this for as many as you want and where if you like as well. So like I say, I think that'll be it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.